What's going on, guys? This is G Vapes. Um, or should I say, ladies and gentlemen? Uh, I'm actually here to do a quick review. Uh, I'm not a reviewer at all. I just like to put things out there sometimes. On a special RDA that I picked up at the shop the other day. Uh, and I'm lucky enough to have a few vape shops around here. Uh, and then I'll also let you know about one of my favorite juices that I picked up and that I always vape on. Uh, it became one of my favorite juices, but we're going to start out with RDA first and then we're going to cover the juice. Um, this is the juice bottle, okay, and I'll dive down into it in a little bit. Uh, but first we're going to talk about this little RDA. So most of my RDAs are fairly large. Um, I have the battle deck here okay uh and i also have the goon right here they're fairly large um so you're gonna get a flavor out of it but you're not gonna get flavor out of it as much uh depending on what coils you put in there um uh so i started doing a little research online to see how i get the flavor uh if you guys don't know how to get flavor it's the smaller the chamber the bigger flavor you get uh so or if you have a larger RDA like the Goon, um, or like Velocity or things like that, and a lot of factors play into it. The Kennedy bottom flow, a lot of guys say bottom airflow it produces a lot more flavor than others, so on and so forth. Anyway, if you have a large RDA, you can close out the air holes, uh, put a, a higher belt in there so you're not so low on your ohms. Um, I found anywhere myself personally, this is my personal opinion. Uh, anywhere from 3.5, uh, to 0 0.50, uh, you get a lot more flavor and you could use smaller coils to produce that flavor. Uh, and you're not going through your juice like crazy. Um, but I love to vape on Fuse Claptons, uh, Alien Claptons. I have Fuse Claptons in the Goon right now. But that's how you get flavor. Anyway, I was looking for something smaller that I could get a lot of flavor out of. And not as a high of a price. So I looked different things up. I went on a couple forums to f figure out what would be good and what's good. And I would say probably about 80% uh, of the people that I talked to and asked a question about, uh, they said, get the Derringer. Derringer, Derringer. It produces so much flavor. It's, it's freaking amazing. Uh... So I started looking around, you know, I found a lot of clones in the local vape shops uh, online uh, and just didn't want to drop that kind of money on an RDA. Um, that, I don't know if I would use a lot. So I was looking for a smaller RDA at a cheaper price that is delicious. Uh, and while I was doing that, my uh, bottle cap... Uh, this one here, the peak insulator at the bottom burnt out. So I went on Complife's website, because that's who makes Battle Decks, if you guys don't know, to see, to replace the insulator. And ordered it, and <laughs> as I was browsing through the site, I came across this little tiny RDA. And I said, man, that's got to be good. It's a little tiny RDA. It's like the Derringer. And you can see how small it is compared to the Goon. I mean, that would sit at the top of the deck. Uh, it is, let's say, three-quarter size of the, the Goon. Um, and then I was like, how much can it be? So I scrolled down, and it's actually on sale. For $19.99, and I'm not sure how much the original price was. I think it might, might have been like $59.99, maybe a little more. So it's on a huge sale. So I'm like, man, why did I order it when I placed the order for the peak insulator? So anyway, um, I don't rush into orders that quick. I wanted to do some research, see how people liked it. So when I actually went on to different reviews to see if anybody's done a review on, the, on this particular RDA that I have... And I'll tell you the name of it soon. Um, I only saw a couple of reviews. Uh, no big reviewers have done it. No uh, Grim Green, Rip Trippers. None of those big guys uh, have uh, done the review on this particular RDA. 
Uh, and Rip Drip is a big flavor tracer, so I'm surprised he hasn't done it. I don't know, maybe because who it's made by, or maybe he didn't get his hands on it, or whatever. But uh, there's no reviews from big guys in it. Uh, the one guy that I really enjoyed his review was uh, Jungle Bear. Um, I don't know where he's from, but he had a funny accent, and I, I fucking love that guy. I, I hope he puts up more reviews up there. I actually subscribe to his channel on YouTube, so Jungle Bear, if you're listening or you're watching this, I love you, man. <laughs> the review you did on this was outstanding. Um, so I just want to let other people know about this in case you come across it. This RDA is actually called the Snub Nose. It's made by PR Vapes. Um, it's tiny, tiny. It's smaller than a Derringer. Uh, it's got a four-post deck, and the holes are really small. The juice well is really small. Uh, however, if you put the right build in there with the right amount of cotton, you'll get a, a good amount of puffs out of it before you have to reduce it. So, so you could see it says snub nose on the front. It's got a, it's it's engraved deep. It's really deep. Up top on the tip. Uh, it says PRS, that's the little company that makes it, and on the back there's a little revolver, and it's pretty cool. Uh, when I was looking it up, and I, when I looked it up on the Comp Life website, they had it in silver, uh, they had it in gold, and they had it in brass. Um, so, I was like, well, why can't they make it in black or something, you know, that matches most of my RDA, uh, my mods. And... Uh, the new vape shop show opened up. I went to visit it. Short story, you know, long story short, the guy was able to get it from another shop, and he happened to have a black one at that shop. So that same day, it was delivered to that shop, which is about 45 to an hour away from where I live and where that shop is, and he brought it to me that day. Um, the cost of it I paid for was, uh, I believe it was like $30 with tax, now, on Complife website, and I'll have the link down below in case you're interested in checking this out, uh, it was for $19.99, as I said before. Uh, you could run this little sucker in single coil mode or dual coil mode. Um, like I said, the holes are small, so you can't put crazy belts in it. Uh, basically, we just have to put regular coils, um, single, you know, just regular coils in there. That's it. I have actual uh, a dual coils, uh, dual coil set up in here with uh, a double wrap of six wraps, um, and it reads at like 0 .35, 0 .38, something like that. Whenever I put it on a regulated device, that's what it told me. It's got a nice big protruding 510 pin, if you could see it. Um, okay, there's the protruding 10 pin. It fits on a hybrid mod, it's hybrid safe, uh, and that was one of the reasons why I picked it up. I wanted to rock it on one of my make mods um reason is if you have a higher belt small chamber you're not going to burn through batteries as much in a make mod it's a lot easier for me to carry that at work than my rollo or my segelis or uh whatever else i have i don't know i built up a little collection over the three years that i've been vaping but um it's crazy it's really good i'm going to show it to you on one of the Segelis I have um, so you could see how it sits um, now with the 510 protruding 10 pin It sits a little higher it sits, uh, sits a little high for my liking and You could see a little gap right there. See it All right, so it sits a little high um, On the Rolo, however, it sits very nice um, And I'll show it show it to you in a second so you can see what that looks like. I got stuff everywhere here. And it's a, it, it looks badass on the roll -off. Okay. There's still a little gap. Uh, I won't be able to capture it, I don't think. But it sits really nice. And that's the roll -off, And that's the snub nose on it. Um, so anyway, when, when the reviewers were looking at it, uh, and they were doing a review on it, and actual reviewers, I'm not a reviewer, as I said, I'm just a person that likes to vape. They said it was better than the Derringer, that it had more flavor than the Derringer. And, and when I talked to everybody else, they said the Derringer kicks ass. So I'm like, man, I, you know, I should pick it up. So I did pick it up, and 
on the bottom of the deck, before we go anywhere else, it says VPRS. It's gonna you're gonna have a little glare. It's it's got the date that it was made, and it's got the serial. The serial number is three eight. And uh, so it's one of the newer ones. It was actually made in 2013. Now being 2016, that this was put out there a while back. Um, surprised the big reviewers haven't done a review on it. Um, it. The threads are smooth. The machining's great. I washed it once. I cleaned it once. Rinsed it once, and that was it. Uh, it is really nice. The only thing I, the two things I really don't like about it is the the tip. And that it's a finger magnet. Uh, it, it really is. Even it, even though it's black, I'm very anal about different things, and you could see the marks on it. So anyway, it's a three-part RDA, and this is your top, and we'll let you do, as I said, dual coil right there, and a single coil there. This is the inside of it. As you can see, it's a little concave to give you a little extra flavor. Which I really like. I mean, for flavor, this thing freaking kicks butt. No joke, this thing is a monster. It produces some serious vape, too. I mean, it produces some monster vapes. Okay, this is the sleeve. Okay, I got juice all over me right now. Uh, but it's very thin metal, it's not very heavy metal. And. This is the deck. I got dual, like I said, dual wraps. It's all wicked up already. I'm not going to remove the wicks because I'm about to juice it and vape it to show you how much vape it produces for you guys. Um, it really, for the price of this little RDA and what it does, if you're a flavor chaser, I highly recommend you getting this. Uh, I mean, spend the 20 bucks online and get it. Uh, I'm telling you, you're really going to enjoy the vape out of this thing. Really going to enjoy the vape out of it. So I'm going to put it on this uh, Segelli TC-150. I don't like the Segelli. Not this one. Um, but it's touchscreen. Uh, it kind of, I was like, oh, I got to get a touchscreen. I got to get a touchscreen. I got it. I don't like it. Uh, reason why I don't like it, you can only vape it uh, with any coil that's built above 0.20. And I like to go a little higher. Uh, I don't vape in temperature control. Um, right now the coil's reading at 0 0.40. Why? I don't know. This thing is freaking monster. You can see that if I could focus it. 4.0. Okay. It's at 46 watts right now. That's where I found the sweet spot for it last night when I was messing around with it. I'm going to dump some juice in here. Um... I like to use unicorn bottles because when I'm at work, it's a lot easier to drip with a unicorn bottle than carry a glass bottle in my pocket. And as you can see, I'm dumping a lot of juice in there. So the juice well, for it being small, if you put your cotton in there just the right way, it's going to gonna hold pretty uh, decent amount of juice. Um, so we're going to have a toke so you can see. Uh, it's producing a lot of cloud. Um, that's what the air holes wide open, and you'll see. Oh. And the juice that I'm using in this is only a lot of cloud in here. It's only seventy thirty, so. It produces a lot of vapor, so even if you're a cloud chaser and you want a smaller RDA, you could give this a try. Um, like I said, I bought it for flavor chasing. Uh, I have the vents open only halfway right now, if you can see. Wherever you change on this side, also changes on this side if you guys are curious. It's about halfway open. It still chucks a lot of cloud for only halfway open.
Now, the other reviewers that did the review on this, uh, they said that this gets a little hot, warm. It does get a little warm, but if you set it down for a little bit to take a break from vaping, it'll cool down enough where you could vape, but your lips do get a little warm. Um, you could also put your, uh, if you have a derringer, you could put your drip dip in here. Uh, it fits on top, but it looks ridiculous, so I just keep it the way it is. Um, I vape on it a lot since I've gotten, I've got it for a couple days ago, and I've been vaping on it ever since. I, I love this thing. Um, if this, if one of my mods or my mech mod runs out of batteries and I go through all my batteries, then I'll vape on the goon. Uh, the goon's been my second go-to. The battle deck, uh, like I said, the pink in insulator was messed up, so I just got it replaced. Um, but that's uh, that's what I do. Um, actually, that dropped down to 25 watts on me. Uh, th this thing is a piece of shit. Uh, if you guys have the TC mod. It's crappy. Uh, I mean, you lock the screen, um, and it unlocks it by you just touching it. Uh, there was a couple of reviews on it. it. It's garbage. It's freaking garbage. But you can see how much. I mean, I'll blow it towards you guys so you can see. Uh, you didn't even see me for a little bit. So, the thing kicked Chuck's ass. It's, it's unbelievable. That's only halfway open. Um, I recommend it. If you guys don't have a flavor chasing RDA, this is the RDA to get. Um, and like I said, I'll leave the I'll put the link down below for Complife, uh, so you can go on their website. I don't work for Complife. I don't work for the juice company that I'm gonna talk about a little bit. But this juice is so delicious. I'm telling you, whatever juice you vaped before, if you're a candy flavor chasing monster. Or you just like candy flavors this is the type of juice you should get um, so that's the that's the snub nose there um, what else can I say about the snub nose uh, besides unbelievable the post holes are really small like I said that's the only downside and that you get fingerprints on it other than that I give it two thumbs up I recommend it to anybody that vapes that likes to drip and that loves the uh, flavor chase the snub nose is freaking awesome so now we're going to jump over to the juice. The juice I have is from Nine South Vapes. Uh, they're a local shop here. They actually have few shops. Uh, they do a lot of uh, competitions. Uh, they have a lot of guys that are on their team. I'm not on their team. I have nothing to do with the shop. I just like the shop there because their juices are freaking amazing. Every single one that I've tried is blown my mind. That's how good it is. Um, their biggest seller, I would say, or most talked about juice, is a CK, uh, Serial Killer. So, if you vaped on Serial Killer and you liked it, this is, I think, by far, this is my opinion, once again, the best juice ever. So, this is called the Shore Shot. It's made by Nine South Vapes. Okay, as you can see on the bottom, it's a Shore Shot. Um, and what it is, it's supposed to be a pink lemonade salt water taffy. It tastes like a freaking pink lemonade taffy. Uh, I'm a big dessert guy. I love dessert flavors. But when I tried this, uh, it blew my mind. It's amazing. Um, it tastes just like pink lemonade taffy. It is delicious. Um, I normally vape at about 60 watts. And it produces plenty of flavor for me. I actually been vaping on it for, I would say probably about three weeks now. Three freaking weeks. I don't stick with juice for more than a week. I go through a 30 mil bottle and I toss it aside. I go to the next flavor and I try different flavors because I want to find that all day vape. So far, this one and one other one they make is my all day vape. Let me have a toke on it before we continue on the review of the juice. The goon's unbelievable. If you don't have the goon, pick up the goon. The clouds you'll produce with this freaking thing is amazing. And the flavor's pretty good too. I actually found that if you open up the air holes with the little lines in between, and can you see the lines in between? There you go. 
Okay, that produces the most flavor for me, in my opinion. That doesn't mean that I am right. That doesn't mean I am wrong. This is my personal opinion. I actually played with it all day today just to see how I could produce the most flavor just for you guys. So, um, short shot. Great flavor. You're going to love it. Uh, it's got a little, it's got a serious kick to it. So, if you're at a, this vape is killing me here. If you're vaping at 0.4 nicotine or 6 or whatever you are, step it down one. Because this is a really throat hitting juice. Um, and it will, it will make you sweat if you go with the normal nicotine level you're at. Uh, it's really... It's really strong in the throat when you inhale it. So step it down. You're going to love their juice. Their juice is unbelievable. Uh, the other bottle I finished with them today because I only had a little tiny left. So I said, let me kill that bottle before I buy a new bottle was CK Square. It is the remake or a new make of the Serial Killer. They still carry the Serial Killer, but they have CK Squared. CK Squared is the same thing as Serial Killer, but it has marshmallow flavor in it. Um, the CK Squared was really, really sweet. So when they put the marshmallow flavor in it, and it was very um, lemony to it, at least in my opinion. This is my opinion. When they made the CK Squared and they put that marshmallow in there, freaking outstanding. And the snub nose, I got flavors out of it that I've never gotten flavors out of it before. In any RD I've ever had. I've tried it in a tugboat. I've tried it in a velocity. I've tried it in a goon. Uh, what else I got? I don't know. Whatever else I got in there. I tried it in the snub nose. I got flavors I've never had. As soon as I'm done with the rest of this flavor that I have, the short shot, that's my excuse. Well, this, this particular unicorn bottle, and I only got a little bit left. Once I'm done with this, the CK Squared's getting bought. Uh, I got to get my budget together, you know. You got kids, family, you got to take care of things. Priorities come first. The juice is last. So once I'm out of this juice, then I'll pick up the CK Squared in a 60 mil bottle this time and enjoy the hell out of it. So if you don't have it, definitely get it. Uh, if you guys like my video, please like it, uh, comment on it. Uh, and if you guys want to hear some other things, other juice reviews, um, you know, if I pick up a new bottle from, actually I picked up two other bottles today, uh, a couple of days ago and uh, they were decent and I'll actually do a review on them uh, just for you guys sake um, it's a different shop that's local here and uh, the juice flavors are pretty good uh, from what I've tasted them um, not my cup of tea but uh, for 10 bucks for a 60 mil bottle that's what got me my fiance she asked me to go pick up her juice I picked up her juice and I said 50 60 mil bottles for 10 bucks uh, might be shitty uh, but they had a couple flavors that I wanted to possibly try um, so I'll definitely review those so you guys could have them and you could always check out the site you know they have a lot of different things um, now on the nine south, uh, nine south vapes site um, they do carry other things, but mainly they focus on their juice and their clothing. Um, so if you go on their site and you try to look for like mods and things like that, you're not going to see it on there. You're just not. Um, their specialty is actually the juice. Um, and their juices are unbelievable. So if you guys want to talk about sports, you want to talk about any toppings, uh, just put it down in the bottom and I'll hit you guys up. I will definitely reply to all your comments and things down below. If you don't like my video, please share. Why? Uh, if it's the lighting, that's fine. I am not a professional reviewer. I'm just doing it for the snub nose and for the flavor chasers. If you guys don't like it, stay off my fucking channel. That's all I gotta fucking say. Ladies and gentlemen, I am out. Enjoy the rest of your day. Keep vaping. And stay off those fucking cigarettes. They will kill you.